Hi, Ben here, and welcome back to the workshop for another Work in Progress Wednesday. It has been a while, so I apologise. We've had a lot on, lots of shows to get ready for, and October just disappeared on us, so apologies for that. But we're back in the workshop, and to be honest, I'm glad that we're in the workshop today, because it's really stormy outside, and it's lovely to be in this nice, cosy workshop making knives. <laughs> so yeah, we've been working on some fun projects. We had a few friends over the other week making knives, which was fun and it inspired me to get some old designs tweaked so that we can bring out some new designs for you. So we've actually been working on a fun idea that we've been wanting to do for a long time, which is actually a kitchen knife. So I tweaked this design when my friends were over and I think I've got it nailed. So we'll show you what, what the actual finished pattern looks like. So this was the original pattern that I had which I wasn't too happy with the handle, it was a bit too bulky. So what I've done is I've slimmed it down and it feels like a proper sort of size in the hand now. So this is actually an eight inch, eight inch blade, so an eight inch chef knife. And it's sort of loosely based on the trapper style handle, which is extremely comfortable. Um, but obviously being a chef's knife, we've narrowed it down because sometimes you're almost holding it at this pivot point when you're actually chopping with it. And that seems to work really nicely. So that's my pattern with obviously all my holes marked in it. And then I thought, well, hang on, that's a full tang construction. It might be quite nice to actually have uh, a stick tang version of it as well. So we were playing around with that. That one was that sort of not quite, didn't quite work out that one. Didn't like the angles on that one. But this is the stick tang version. And you can see I've already started to sketch other ideas onto that same blade profile. But the stick tang version will give a much lighter uh, finished knife. And it will give us a few other options of handle materials as well whether they be solid in native timbers with nice faceted handles on there, or we're even thinking that we might even use some rustic materials like bits of antler and things like that. So those are the patterns that we've got sorted. And I've actually managed to get some cut out of some steel. So I had a fresh load of steel arrive from um, uh, up in Sheffield, and I've got some blades in different steels. This is in this SF100 steel which is the equivalent of a sort of English made ABL. And these are in 2.5 mil stock. So we've got those all heat treated. We've even got a stretched version for a friend who wants to actually strip up some salmon with it. So that's actually a slightly longer blade profile on that one. So they're all heat treated and ready for grinding. And what I've done is I've ground one up. This is my sort of working prototype as it were. And I've got no handle on it at the moment but I ground it pretty thin and got the actual cutting edge on there and I've been testing it in the kitchen and I've been hacking at the hedge with it as well. That's why it's all a bit sort of marked with sap and stuff. So what we wanted was an edge that's fine enough to use in the kitchen, but still robust enough that you can use it around camp and stuff as well. So yeah, really happy with how that's come out so far. I've got the logo on there, but I've got to sort out the handle. So that's, that's the next task. So thinking about handle materials, we're probably going to use some of our favourites. So some stabilised Masseur Birch, I think that's going to look really nice on those chef's knives. Also some really nice dense desert ironwood, we've got some really nice scales of that, which is naturally durable, very oily, so pretty much waterproof, so that will work really good. And also with those stick tangs, this is what I've always been sort of dreaming about using up some of this really nice natural antler with all its nice different textures and colours to it. I think that'll work really, really nicely using that ergonomic shape like we use on the field knives to make a perfect natural looking handle that's just going to fit your hand just like it's meant to be really. So yeah, excited about working on those over the next few weeks really.
So that's what we've been working on in the workshop this week, as well as other things. But a lot of knife makers or other craftspeople will understand the dilemma that you're in. You've got things that you should be doing and there's things that you want to do. So obviously playing around with new designs is always very tempting. But yeah, we're super excited about getting a handle on this finish and finish this chef's knife off so that we can really put it through its paces. But yeah, hope you enjoy the videos and we're sorry that there's been a delay on getting some of these work in progress up and on the channel but we should be back on it and we will see you next week.